This is a few weeks old at this point, but it was so ridiculous when I saw it that I have to go and talk about it. Now, as always, please don't go and harass the developer involved. I don't know why so many people feel the need to go and do so. If you want to rant about them, rant about them in the comment section down below. So, a few weeks ago, I saw a very simple issue made on a project called Day. Day is a high-performance web proxy solution. This is the issue in question. Enhancement. Add CI test. My understanding is Day is supposed to run on Linux greater than or equal to 5.8. Let's let me add some test via GitHub action against different kernels. I am proposing to use Cilium slash little vm helper action for running vm inside a GitHub action container. If maintainers are in favor of this plan, I can draft a PR for review in days. So they're just saying, okay, I would like to work on this, but if you're not okay with this being added, I'm just not going to do it because there's no point wasting my time. So would you like this done? I think this is a good issue. They're not demanding anything being done. They're just asking if they want it to be done. I like this. Now, like so many GitHub repos out there, they have a GitHub bot. And when an issue is opened, it does the same thing on every single issue. Thanks for opening this issue. It doesn't tell you the next steps or anything like that. It just adds a useless comment. Now, I don't like this trend, but it's not that big of a deal. Now, the bot does do other things, though, like creating PRs for automated build work and other little things like that, but there is also a user account associated with the bot as well, that being Day Prowl Robot. Often, they're involved in doing releases. However, in this case, they had a comment. This is the problem that I have. This issue is marked as won't fix, as you have not yet starred this repo. Please kindly consider giving a star to this repo. Your support means a lot to us. Thanks for your understanding. After you become a stargazer, please also reply to this message with the keyword understood. Afterward, I'll reopen this issue for you. Once again, your support is much appreciated. Cheers. At the time, it was tagged as won't fix and closed as not planned. Now, the user did want to get this done, so they went and started the repo and said, understood. This prompted the bot to reply, thanks for giving a star to the repository. Your support means a lot to us. I removed the won't fix mark for you. Hopefully, someone can dig in and resolve the issue for you. As you can probably see, this was met with some... We'll say negative response, along with some fairly amusing replies. For example, people are so rude. Don't they know open source developers need those juicy stars to eat? Along with a couple of people reporting the repo for star farming, which technically isn't against the rules, but it probably should be. Now, I have a couple of issues with this type of automated response. There are cases where it does make sense to automatically mark something as won't fix or automatically close it or things like that. For example, in the Linux kernel case, the Linux kernel has a mirror that accepts pull requests, but it probably shouldn't accept pull requests, I just don't think you can disable them. So people occasionally make these pull requests that are never going to be accepted, so there was a bot that said, hey, go away, basically. <laughs> this is how you actually contribute to the kernel. This is not the place to do so. This is totally acceptable. Outside of weird edge cases like this, I generally don't like bots blindly taking actions on issues and pull requests. Now, the fun thing about the Linux case is it didn't actually mark anything as won't fix or closed an issue or anything like that. It just left the comment telling you what you need to do if you actually want to contribute code. And if you just didn't care to read it, you could just keep discussing things, you could keep doing things in this thread. But you obviously shouldn't be, the message is here for a reason. But I look at automated actions like this one in the same way that I look at things like stale bots. A stale bot's entire purpose is to farm absolute nonsense comments, because what a stale bot does is closes an issue or closes a pull request if there hasn't been any action in a certain amount of time, maybe a week, a month, a year, whatever time frame is set by the developer. So what usually ends up happening in a repo that has a stale bot 
is it encourages people to leave absolute nonsense comments. People will say things like, is this done yet? Plus one, any progress and things like this, because if they don't do that, the bot will come along and just close the issue. Which if we're being honest, neither the user nor the repo developer actually wants to deal with. I wish stale bots completely went away. Now I have no issue with closing stale issues. What I have an issue with is closing them blindly. Understand the context of why they are stale. And if you want to close it, go ahead and close it. Don't just close it because there hasn't been any discussion in X amount of time. And in this case, I can't decide if this is more or less disruptive because in the Steelbot case, that's an issue, that's a poor request that nothing's really happened on for a while. Maybe someone will come along eventually and work on it, but it's just kind of sitting there. This is a user that is actively trying to get involved with the repo. They want to make an issue, they want to make a pull request, and for some reason, you've just put this random wall in their way that says, okay, well, you know, we could have this issue here, we could have this open, but you didn't click the upvote button, you didn't click the star, you didn't click the like, so go away, I guess? Like, what's the point of this being here? Because really, that's what a star is on GitHub. GitHub is basically a social media platform that happens to store Git repos, and a star is just a like, it's just an upvote, it is there to indicate the popularity of a repo. But when this is done in a natural way, I don't really have an issue with this. For example, in the Hyperland case, which is right behind Sway, this is a great indication of how quickly Hyperland is gaining popularity. But in this case, it is just artificially inflating the star count to, I guess, fake its popularity? Like, that's the only thing I can think of this being done for. And whilst doing this isn't explicitly against the GitHub Terms of Service, with the GitHub Acceptable Use Policies only referring to starring when it comes to a automated starring, and this isn't automated starring, it's an automated message asking for manual starring. Automated starring would be making a bunch of fake accounts and then having them go and automatically star repos. That's what they're referring to here, but at least in my opinion, it is against the spirit of what a star is supposed to mean, what an upvote is supposed to mean, what a like is supposed to mean. For many platforms, whilst it is not explicitly against the rules, it is generally frowned upon by the users to beg for likes and beg for upvotes because that's what this is. It is an upvote beg. It is saying you cannot get involved with this repo unless you go and upvote us first. It doesn't matter if you like the repo, you think it's the worst thing ever. If you want to get involved, you have to go and upvote us. And I don't think that just because it's GitHub, it should be treated any differently. I don't want to see this become a trend like stale bots have become a trend. There are so many repos out there that make use of them and it is a giant waste of the developers and also the users time because both of them have to deal with these absolute nonsense comments just to keep the issues and pull requests actually open. And in this case, you're going to have these absolute nonsense messages on every single issue being like, or oh, could you star this? Please star this. Okay, you've starred this. Let's have a message to indicate that you've starred this. Like, what is the point of that? Just have the issue there and don't have your dumb little bot. And I guarantee users are going to come up with workarounds to deal with the system, like temporarily starring a repo, and then when they're done with it, unstarring it. So you just don't get any benefit from it anyway, and all you're doing is just wasting everybody's time. At the end of the day, this developer is allowed to do this. It doesn't seem like it's against the GitHub Terms of Service. But that doesn't mean that I have to like it, and that doesn't mean that I'm not going to rant about it. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you like the idea of stale bots? Do you like the idea of star farming bots? I guess that's what I'm going to call them. Let me know down below. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, silly bear pay, link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and I'm going to automatically delete your comments. What?